King Frederick and Mary of Denmark's state visit to Norway, which lasted two days, has come to an end. As a farewell gesture, the Danes organized a reception on board the Royal Yal Yacht Dannebrog, which was moored at the pier for several days. In the evening, all the invitees gathered on the pier to spend time together in the exquisitely decorated surroundings of the yacht. Queen Sanja brought Mary a book as a present. Mary and Met Merritt once again showed their skill in choosing outfits with Mary choosing a particularly impressive dress for the occasion, changing outfits ten times during the day. Her choice was an elegant a silhouette dress with exquisite Swiss embroidery, made in a bohemian style with three-fourths sleeves on the elastic band, which accentuated the wrists. The dress emphasized the waist, making the figure look slimmer and the combination of pastel colors and the main color ecru added a spring freshness to the look. Her hair was styled in loose waves with a side parting. Part of the hair was fastened with an elegant golden barrette, which together with long earrings created a stylish and bohemian look. Two hours later, the members of the royal family left Dannebrog. Half an hour later, Mary and her team also left. They are returning home by airplane. Why this is so is not yet known, but the Queen's first event after her return is scheduled for Monday, May 20th, when the royal run will take place. Frederick and his court staff are returning home on the Dannebrog. Let's see how their busy day went. The Danish king and queen got up early to go on a tour with the Norwegian heirs. Hakon and Met Merit welcomed their counterparts and went with them to the Ulsrudvinet Forest, which is part of Ostmarka's outer district of over 256 square kilometers. But to the surprise of the other travelers, they reached their destination by metro. Since it was a hike in the mountains, the Danish queen chose a casual look with cargo pants and sneakers, quite different from the one she wore a few hours later for a new event, a meeting with Norwegian Prime Minister Jonas Geirstor, followed by an official Norwegian government dinner at Akershus Castle. She wore a sky-blue pencil skirt with a matching blouse and aquamarine jewelry for her walk around Ostmarka. The Australian chose khaki green cargo pants with back pockets from Carhartt. She paired them with a black knitted sweater, Monkler down jacket, brown belt and hiking boots. Mary looked very natural, pulling her hair into a ponytail and sharing her confidence and strawberries with Met Merit. The Norwegian Iris was also well prepared for the outing in Amundsen pants, which the brand says are indestructible a Monkler anorak, just like Mary and new white sneakers from on, so fashionable this season. The princess does not seem to be suffering from chronic pulmonary fibrosis, for which she has had to cancel many events in her diary, a disease from which she will never be cured, as it is chronic, but she has better and worse seasons. Right now, judging by her increased activity and participation in this state visit by Frederick and Mary, all indications are that she is in one of the good ones. After this excursion for the four, the Danish king and queen changed clothes to meet with the Norwegian prime minister. The queen proved once again that she is one of the most elegant royals in the world in a new feminine look, a wearing a beige and sky blue plaid pencil skirt by Amelia Wickstead and a cross neck blouse with slightly flared sleeves and cuffs the outfit was perfect for the queen, and she complemented it with aquamarine jewelry drop earrings and a ring. The queen also wore two elegant hair clips by Ellen Hunter, made of opals to match the antique gilded leaves. After lunch, the Danish monarchal couple, Queen Sanja and the Kronpar of Norway participated in an architectural walk along the Oslo waterfront which showcased one of Oslo's new central urban spaces, which has a Danish imprint in sustainable urban development and public architecture. The walk also presented examples of how joint Danish-Norwegian solutions are helping to bring nature, water and people back to the center of Oslo. 
Along the way, the company also stopped by the Munch Museum and the Opera House. Frederick and Mary State visit from Denmark to Norway, which lasted two days, was an outstanding example of diplomatic and cultural exchange between the two Scandinavian countries. The event emphasized the deep historical and family ties between the Danish and Norwegian royal families, as well as their common goal in promoting sustainable development and cultural exchange. The visit was packed with activities ranging from an informal hike in the Olsrud Vanet Forest to formal meetings and lunches. Particularly memorable was the architectural walk along the Oslo waterfront, where joint Danish-Norwegian projects aimed at improving the quality of the urban environment and the lives of citizens were presented. Mm -hmm. These projects are an important contribution to the development of sustainable cities of the future. The royals demonstrated not only their commitment to official duties, but also their personal interest and involvement in society, which brings the monarchy closer to the people. The choice of outfits, especially Queen Mary's, reflected their attention to detail and ability to maintain royal status with contemporary taste and style. The visit ended with a farewell reception on board the royal yacht Dannenbrog, which was a symbolic conclusion to the meeting of the two royal families. This event not only strengthened the diplomatic and personal ties between Denmark and Norway, but also demonstrated the importance of cultural and social exchange in today's world. As a result, the state visit left behind not only vivid memories among the participants, but also important initiatives that will contribute to further development and cooperation between the two countries in various fields, from sustainable development to culture and education. Dear subscribers, it's time to say goodbye but before we wrap up this video, I want to share a few thoughts with you. Over the past two days, we have witnessed not only the splendor of royal events, but also the deep meaning they carry. Frederick and Mary State visit from Denmark to Norway was filled with moments of cultural exchange, diplomacy, and demonstrations of shared efforts in sustainable development. We saw the royals move from informal outings to formal dinners with ease, reflecting the ideals of a modern monarchy to be accessible, yet maintain tradition and dignity. This visit reminded us of the importance of cooperation between countries, cultures, and societies to achieve the common good. We are grateful for sharing these moments with us and hope they have inspired you as much as they have inspired us. The farewell reception on the royal yacht Dannebrog symbolized not only the end of the visit, but also the beginning of new opportunities for cooperation and friendship between Denmark and Norway. Thank you for watching, supporting, and actively participating in the life of our channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and press the bell to not miss our future videos. See you soon.